This week we read the portion of Chukas and Balak. The Torah tells us how the king of Moab, Balak, hired Bilam to come and curse the Jewish people. God does not allow Bilam to curse the Jewish people and instead gives them blessings. And one of the blessings that he says he begins, Um HaGever Shum This is the words of the man who is blind in one eye. The question is why? Does Bilaam have to publicize the fact that he's blind in one eye? There was an interesting story, story told about the previous Lubavitcher Rebbe, who tomorrow we celebrate his day of liberation, Yud Bey's Thomas, when he was freed from imprisonment in Russia. When he was a child, he asked his father, he says, I tried several times looking with one eye and I see perfectly well. Why was it necessary for God to make create us with two eyes. And his father explained to him that the right eye was given us, given to us to look at on important things in life. And the left eye is for us to look at the insignificant things. And perhaps sometimes even to close the eye, not to look at it. Bilam turns to Balak and says, I don't know why you're complaining to me. I am blind in one eye. I only see evil. I don't see any good amongst the Jewish people. The fact that I am blessing them it's not my fault. It's not because I see them in a good light that I bless them. Quite the contrary. I only see them negative. And it is God who is placing the blessings into my, mind, into my mouth. May God bless us that everyone throughout the world should only bestow upon our blessings. And those who, God forbid, try to curse us, their curses should be also transformed into blessings. And the world will be blessed with good health, happiness, prosperity for all mankind. I will merit to see the coming of Mashiach. Have a great Shabbos. Shabbat Shalom.